Okay, so this is how I fixed it. Um, obviously, you can see that half of the clip is gone, and that was the half of the clip that was hanging off. Uh, however, I moved up this other half of the clip, and everything else is fine. So hopefully, as long as this uh, hard drive can be read by this mo by this logic board, you we're going to be fine. So, uh, and we're going to go ahead and keep it just like this. Uh, if this happens to come down, meaning hanging down, but it won't because I'm going to go ahead and tape it. Uh, just push it up like this and it will go back into place um, and hold itself there. Um, with fresh tape that I'll be putting on there and I'd recommend that you also put some fresh tape on it when you get it. Um, I would highly recommend that you kind of seal it with fresh tape and it's okay to even go overlap here and kind of make sure that that cable is deep inside. But let's first and see if it works, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, rubber portion on. And normally I put the cable in first, I mean cable in last, but in this case, because I wanna make sure that that cable is in there perfectly, I'm gonna, I put it in there first, just to make sure that, that it's gonna sit and be okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and also uh, kind of make sure that it fits. Easiest way to do these is remember the pin on the right side, scoot it in from the right to the left. So that means that you go ahead and go from the right and you pull it to the left. It's going to uh, leave very little to um, uh, space for it to move. Then once we put it inside there, going to clamp it down, clamp it down here. And one second, let me go ahead and bring this down. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and clamp this down right here okay and see like right there I can already tell that there's gonna be a little bit of an issue with this because it is not sitting as flush as the other one was uh, so once again we're gonna go ahead and try to kind of maneuver it in there and once again be careful with that with that cable okay at least the but this time it actually went back exactly where it needed to go um, so once again, we're going to go ahead and put it in now. Hopefully it sits in there flush. And let's see. There we go. A little bit better, not great, but a little bit better. Um, we're going to go ahead and screw this down. It's a little bit better, a little bit, but definitely better than the other one. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and just put one screw on the side here so it doesn't flop open. Um, be careful of that cord right there. Uh, try and pull that cord any chance you can. Uh, try and pull it out of the way. If it happens to go underneath, it's okay. Um, but make sure that you're not screwing on top of it. That just sounded very, very dirty. Um, so try and like, uh, pull it away if you can. So it's, so the cord doesn't get caught underneath the screw, um, right there. So other than that, let's just see if this one works. If not, then I apologize. I was able to do one of them. Uh, and obviously the other drive doesn't work. Um, so we'll go from there and let's just, we're going to go ahead and put this back on. And like I said, you really don't need to um, just make sure that your um, USB portion is out. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put the power in. There's the power right there. Put the power in first. Then make sure your USB slot is open. And put your USB hub in. 
and there's my USB hub it's in right there and then you can go ahead and open your MacBook Air and hopefully everything will work this time as I got a bobblehead monitor okay there we go and we're gonna go ahead and hold down that option button and let's see okay so there's lion obviously it recognizes the the USB and it should go by very very quick now keep in mind uh, once again I want to go ahead and show you um, I don't know if you noticed this or not but I mean, this is a good thing to do the, the circular um, um, wheel I guess you could say lion and anything under Yosemite you will see this Yosemite and above you will see a line going through so Yosemite, El Capitan, and now Sierra, they will all have lines. And once again, it picked up really fast, which is a good sign. Um, the reason why we didn't see the uh, install or the recovery is because of the fact that there's nothing on that drive. Um, so once again, you're going to go ahead and choose English. Now, this is only on Lion. When you're doing Lion, it's, this is the only thing that will show you. We're going to go to Disk Utility. We're going to hit Continue. And hey, look at that. There it is. Okay, so there's the 200 Toshiba. We got lucky right there. Now, this is normally what you will see. Okay, this is now. If you have this, if you see this, you only need to take one step. And that is to click on it. And then erase. Okay, I'm going to pull back. And... Mac OS Journal, and this is when you go ahead and put the name in. We're going to call this one also Mac OS, oops, OS HD. Okay, same thing. Um, you can you can add Lion on there if you want, but since I didn't do it on the other one, I'm not going to do it on this one. So, um, and just so you know, it will give you the name. And the serial number of your hard drive that it recognizes inside. Okay, so there it is right there. Now guess what? Now we're going to go ahead and hit that erase button. It's going to ask you, are you sure? You're going to say, yes, I'm very sure. You're going to hit erase. It's going to go through its process. And it's going to be very, very quick. Now look. Look right there. You got, it. You got yourself a little disk. Zero, two... Whenever you see that, now, so this is your hard drive, your main drive. This is the partition of your drive. Okay, so this is the physical part. This is the partition part. Okay, and it's going to tell you. See, it says mounted partition. Mounted partition right there. And this right here, that just, that's your media disk. Okay? All right? So, now... When you do this, you only need to do it once. You don't need to do it twice because of the fact that it is a fresh drive. All right? So whenever you get this, okay, make sure that it's macOS Journal, macOS Journal, and make sure that you are choosing the top. Now, if you put a hard drive in and you see two of them, meaning that you see exactly it, have it come up like this or have it be... 200 gigabyte Toshiba and then the one underneath it is untitled you actually see something un under that hard drive then you have to do it twice okay you have to go and format the top one then format the bottom one but only put in a name when you are formatting the top one so here we go we're going to go ahead and now install Lion okay so we're going to go ahead and push back once you're done here that's it. You're already set. We're going to hit exit. And then we're going to go ahead and go to install Mac OS 10. This is going to go by. It's actually, believe it or not, going to take a little bit longer than the other one. But 
it is going to be faster than the other one. I don't know how I can explain that any better. But anyways, this is it right here. Now this one, it is. there's a lot of it that is no longer supported. Like for example, um, Google is no longer supported for this operating system. And the updates from Apple are gonna be less and less. Uh, iTunes is not gonna be supported. Um, so pretty much we're gonna go ahead and hit right here. Okay, however, I will tell you this. This version, which is Lion, Mac OS 10.75, which is, which is Mac Lion, um, it is the most stable uh, platform or, you know, operating system for any Mac laptop or desktop before 2010. It is by far the most stable, okay? You will be able to do a lot more and a lot faster with this operating system than if you were to put Yosemite on it or anything like that, okay? I guarantee you that, okay? And it says seven minutes to install. Technically, that's not true. It's seven minutes for this round to, to, to write all the codes and then 23 minutes for the next one to install. So... When I come back, we're going to go ahead and um, kind of like set it up and we'll go over it, okay?